This is not flattering. <laughs> All right. Hopefully the ISO and color temp is okay. We're using my actual like lights, which for the most part are like daylight white on their own. So I have the camera set to that. So much like any video I film, hopefully it's not terrible. But if you clicked on this, then you know we need to address this. So I work in the office only one day a month and when we're there we have to be business casual which even that is almost just casual at this point. Um, so the only real requirement for um, someone identifying as male is basically some sort of dress shirt or like a, a nice sweater or something. Uh, we can wear jeans, preferably we wear dress shoes but I've gone away of just wearing like really nice black sneakers. Um, in my case, like, my van slip-ons that are all black, because they kind of look like, um... What were those shoes? Discos? <laughs> the really good-for-you shoes that, like, a lot of, like, medical professionals wear. Um, they kind of look like those from, like, afar, so I get away with it. But I still have some shirts in here. I've gotten rid of some, but I still have some that I kept because I wasn't sure if I'd wear them. And then I kind of want to go through like my hoodies and stuff and sweatshirts, see if anything in there I kind of just want to let go because I'm not really wearing them. So I'm hoping I can kind of go through some of the stuff to just clear it a little bit. And then we also have a slight problem. Well, I have a slight problem. This is a Target bag with three shirts in it that I've had sitting on my dresser for two months. Um, they're shirts that... I didn't think were very flattering on me that I bought in store, which means I have to go return it in store. And I think I can still return them because they're like Target brand technically. They're the Goodfellow, which is Target's clothing brand, so technically it's Target brand. So I think I can still return them, but the problem is I really like how they look, uh, which is probably another one of my issues. Is I buy a lot of shirts that I like how they look, like the pattern or the colors. But obviously not every pattern and every color is for everyone's body type and skin complexion and all that jazz. But I am determined to see if I can make them work. Uh, so I have a nice, like, gray shirt on, which is, honestly, this is a workout shirt, but sometimes I will wear workout shirts at work underneath, like, my dress shirt. Because my work building has a super inconsistent heating and cooling system, so the temp fluctuates horribly. So sometimes it's too hot, and having a workout shirt that can wick away moisture is kind of helpful. Um, so there's that. So I figured if I'm gonna try shirts on, I'm also wear what I would probably wear underneath most likely anyways. And then we can try on these. Like this one shirt here I really like, that I'm gonna keep regardless. I think just when I tried it on, I just didn't like it because it's long sleeve button-up shirt and I like literally buttoned up as if I was gonna like wear a tie and stuff with it which I normally don't because I have a I have a stumpy neck so a lot of collars on shirts just kind of when you close them all the way go up to here on me I can't do anything about that I have yet to find a single shirt that has a low profile collar that actually is low profile <laughs> so but yeah so I already know kind of the shirts I'm going for it's not a lot of them there's Five guaranteed here, and they're all the same brand. So I already got rid of some last week, but I still have these five from, I think it's Izod, uh, which are kind of like the dad line of shirts. Um, and they also run very big. Um, these are a medium, I typically wear a large because a lot of mediums, like I mentioned before videos, my shoulder area gets very tight and restricted. So it's very hard to wear mediums in shirts sometimes. Um, these mediums are like larges, honestly. So that's kind of where we're sitting. I also just realized I don't. I took them off of there. Oh, hold on. I wait. No. Could I? I guess I could just put them back. Hold on. Let me just like do this. Just push all my stuff back so I can just like put them on the hook here. All right. So we're gonna try these on, and just see if they spark any joy. Because last time they didn't, but I didn't want to get rid of them because they're not, like, bad shirts. These ones in particular are also 100% cotton. Which is kind of what I go for in a lot of shirts. Because I sweat drastically less in cotton 
than I do in like a blend or even all polyester. I just don't know, like, I don't even know why I bought this. This doesn't like look that flattering honestly on me, I don't think. Like, overall, it's not like a horrible fit. Let me close this. But I have a mirror over here. And it's like, it's not a terrible fit. I do have a belly right now. We're working on that. There's a video coming about my fitness and health journey. Like, it doesn't look terrible, but I don't think it looks good on me. Especially with my belly right now, which I... Like, I just... that That's the personal thing we're working on. So let me just suck in a little bit so I can actually not focus on that. But... Not a bad shirt. It just doesn't spark any joy for me. I hate to be that person that's like, it doesn't spark any joy, but it doesn't. I don't... I'm not excited to wear this shirt. Um, I'm just not. I don't feel amazing in it. And all five of these shirts I bought at TJ Maxx. It was like $15. And it was more just like, I need new shirts for work. Um, and I wanted 100% cotton shirts. And these are 100% cotton. I don't know if nice. You know, I want nice breathability. Even though people are like, Polyester you're so breathable. Not for me, girl. Unless it is a moisture wicking, it's not breathable for me. Also, I'm like sweating on my forehead. Which sucks, they just put like moisturizer on. I took a shower before this video. So I could look good, feel good, do my face up. Um, this is going, this is being donated. This, I, this didn't bring anything for me. Goodbye. All right. That one was not too hard. Let's go with the hardest one. Because this has like some of my favorite colors in it. Which is like the blues and the pinks and the purples. <sighs> Again, like fit wise, it's not terrible. There's a little extra on the body, but with my a little tummy right now, it's not a bad thing. It's like, how much are you seeing of this? Yeah, a decent amount. <sighs> like, I like it, but again, I don't think it looks good on me. Like, it, it feels, it's a very busy pattern. So, there's that issue. Can I even, like, button this up? Yeah. Like, I don't think I heard this, really. Like, you can about, like, you know, do the sleeve roll-up. I can do, like, the, the big roll-up that some people will do. They're just like this. Yeah, I just... I like it. I like the colors, but it's just... It sparks joy, but not in a way that I'm going to wear it. I have not worn this since before the pandemic. I've worn none of these shirts since the pandemic. The ones I'm, like, looking at specifically right now. I think I just got rid of all of them. Like, again, here's a, you know, the one that has pink in it. I really like that, but I think I'm just going to let them all go. I think it's time to just let go of the shirts. That I'm keeping them because they're cotton. Because that's why I bought them. Because they were cotton. But they just don't spark any joy for me. <laughs> Alright. Sorry about that. So here's another two shirts that I bought. Have not worn. These are from a designer that I really like, which is Denim and Flower. Um, Ricky Singh, I believe, is the actual designer name. I bought them because I really liked them. I have not worn them. Oh, I can tell right now this is not. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think I tried this on when I bought it. Like, look, you can see, you can see how, like, tight it is right there. Not that I'm gonna be doing that super often, but, like, range of movement is not the best. And it's also, like, kind of high up on me. Like, it, it's tight in the shoulders. That stinks. It's a really nice shirt. But it's tight in the shoulders. Maybe I should let go of the other short sleeve, because it was also a little, like, in the shoulders. It stinks to just get rid of your, like, entire closet, basically. I think the issue is because it is a slim fit. If it wasn't slim fit, I think it'd be better. I actually don't like this one on me. It gives me, like... 
grocery store employee manager vibes. Sometimes slim fit works against me as well. I think that's why I prefer like an athletic fit or a standard fit because they just fit <laughs> properly. All right, so now we're at seven shirts clear though. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out then. I've worn this one on stream and it's the same thing. This is also slim fit. I wore it on stream. I didn't wear a shirt underneath though. So that might have made a difference, but I normally wear a shirt underneath it. Oh yeah, that is actually kind of tight. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna let it go. We're gonna let it go. Just gonna let it go. Just gonna let it go. I do have two other shirts from Denim and Flower. Um, they're not slim fit though. So I think these would still be fine to keep. These are... Yeah, that's fine. We'll keep this one. And the other one's the same way, so that's, I think that's fine for right now. If I get to a point where I need to let them go, I'll let them go, but I think I think this can survive the cut. <laughs> the short sleeve, which, while well, cute, did not survive the cut. I am sweating a little bit. I might have to, like, cut the video for a moment and turn my fan on that's off to the side of the camera so I can breathe. This is a standard fit, which means it's not going to be as tight in the body and the shoulders, in theory, and the chest. Oh, I can, like, feel that difference. Like, yeah, see, like... That's my problem. Like, there's no pull. Slim fit doesn't work for me. I am not a, I am not a little, little twink who's like 19 in college. <laughs> and I say it like that because when I was a little 19 year old twink in college, I wore a lot of slim fit clothing and pants and everything. And honestly, kind of glad I did. Oh, here's another short sleeve shirt I have. This one, I think, has more stretch. I have worn this. This is a Polaroid. I love it. It was like $15 at TJ Maxx. It's made of rayon, so it's like light and airy. I have worn this, I think, two times. It is not a slim fit, so in theory it should fit a little better. But I've worn it two times. Once in office, which I shouldn't have because it has a bunch of logos, and then once just to wear it. So I'm gonna try this on. And I do like that. Granted, my like, seats are all kind of rolled up, but... Yeah. I think I still like that. Once I get lose my belly a little bit, I'll like it a lot better. We're working on it for self-esteem issues. Yeah. I, I think this is fine. I need to, like, you know, iron it out, because it's very wrinkly. Um, because last time I wore this and washed it, I didn't have a dryer. So I could probably just pop this in the dryer, because I do have like an air fluff on mine, or I can just very gently iron it. My iron does have a setting for delicate fabrics like rayon and stuff. So I think this can stay. This, oh, here's another shirt that I should try on. Because otherwise, the rest are all, like literally, these all right here, excuse the Polaroid one, they're all American Eel. They all fit me, I've worn them all recently. So I know those are fine. This I have not worn recently. I have not worn this since before the pandemic. It is a fleece shirt, so I'm probably gonna sweat a little bit. Again, I haven't worn this in a while. But like, where I'm trying to... Oh my, why is my watch stuck on the sleeve? But where I'm trying to, you know, mow through the, oh, that's, okay. Oh, I see what the issue was. My my shirt rolled up. I'm like, why is this wildly uncomfortable, specifically in the exact armpit region? And it's because the shirt I'm wearing is kind of stuck. Oh my god. Oh, this is like not. Which is wildly uncomfortable feeling already. It might just be because of the shirt I have underneath, but. I don't know, it's just the armpits are like almost cutting into my armpit, if that makes sense. Here, let me just like button one part to this. I don't like these buttons actually, they're very... They're very weak. Oh my god. Why did I buy this shirt? Bro, I can't even button this. Okay. There's a lot of stretch, but I don't like the buttons. I detest these buttons. I'm just, I'm just gonna, this works zero joy for me. 
Wow, I should have just said, um, emptying my entire closet out, because that's what we're doing right now. Okay. Let me take a quick little break, and then we'll tackle these. Let's see, see how, what we're going to do. So I'll be, we'll be right back. I, I did that wrong. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, we're back. I kind of just sat down to cool down a little bit. Alright, these shirts. We're looking at... Like... Almost $75 in just three shirts. Let's take the shirt I know I can keep and wear. Like, I still have the tags on them. Oh, I buttoned this shirt all the way back up. We were that kind of girl. Alright, first issue. It's um, rather see-through. So I'd want to wear a lighter shirt underneath, not a darker shirt. That's not a big deal. We can work with that. We can wear like a white shirt underneath or something. So let's like button it partially. Yeah, it's a very light shirt. It's not like a bad thing, necessarily. Alright, we're gonna roll the sleeves up. As if I was going to work. I never get them even. Okay, I got the stomach issue, which I hate. Just suck it a little. I know it's terrible to say that, but this is, this is my body. I'm allowed to talk about it like this. <laughs> Other than that, I don't mind it. I have to wear a lighter shirt because very clearly you can see the underneath very easily. Um, not a big deal. You can get an undershirt for that. I need to get some anyways. I'm not mad at it though. And it's a good length. Yes, okay, we're gonna keep this. I I have no problem with this shirt. Okay. Now the problem child. Or children, I guess. Let's start with the worst one. They're, they're dad shirts. Which is probably why I liked them. But my issue is the collar. They're very... Not grand. Like, this is the kind of shirt I would have to wear something underneath. Because they are so dad-like. They're very, very dad. Like, you wear this without a shirt underneath, girl. You're asking to bring your child to the movies at 4 and picking them up at 6 in the middle of going golfing. I think I was attracted to it because I liked the colors and it wasn't something, like, in my wardrobe already. Like, you can see, it's Hawaiian Dad. Hi, how are you? Hawaiian dad. With like a shirt underneath, I don't hate it as much now. So it's definitely a shirt that I would wear probably open. Just like going out, just wear it open. Or even just like button it slightly here. Yeah. Do a little button. And then I can try tucking it in. Hold on, I'm like trying to give it enough. I might not have enough to do it. Still fair is very dead, but I would I would wear this on stream, I think. That's kind of why I bought these shirts more so to wear on stream than actually wear out of the house. I'm not mad at it though. If you styled it right, it's fine. I I'm we're gonna keep this is fine. It's a very dad shirt. It is definitely dad on a Hawaiian vacation. Which is also the issue with the second shirt. It's very dad. <laughs> I am not a dad, but I'm apparently becoming one. I don't think I'd wear this dark of an undershirt, though. With this. It just, it's too dark. So I want something a little brighter, obviously, but... Yeah, if you tuck it in. Let me just, like, simulate tucking in. We're gonna simulate being tucked in. And then we're gonna go to Untucked in the Interior Interior Illusions Lounge. I cannot English the Interior Illusions Lounge. Alright, so it doesn't kinda of like this this vibe. Or even if I just like tucked in this part maybe? Like in like a belt or something. Kinda of wore it like that. No, it looks a little weird. So let's just tuck it all in. See how I feel. I don't hate it tucked in. But it's not like the best tucked in. 
I think with a lighter shirt it would look better. It's It doesn't look good against a, a dark shirt. But no, I'm going to keep it for now. But yeah, we'll, we'll make it work, I think. I just wish this wasn't this way. I also don't know why this has a loop right here. It's weird. I just think if... Oh, I see why. It's because you can button it. That That's the loop for the button. So you could like, do this to have it like sit up all the way. But then it's kind of like a wide collar, which is really fucking weird. I don't know. The other one must do it too, right? Yeah. That's fine. It's fine. Everything is it's fine. It's all fine. We're gonna just wear them on stream anyway, so it's like whatever. Alright, let me move my ties. Now I gotta rearrange this real quick. Oh, that settles that issue. I put my bag away now. Okay. Now we have one of my problem areas. Sweatshirts. <laughs> These are all Calvin Klein sweatshirts. And I have not worn them all. <laughs> um... But I don't have anything I need to get rid of. I still, like... Yeah, I have, like, one in here I have not worn at all. No, two in here. I have two in here. I have a pride one. And then I have one that I dyed green. That I regret dying green. And that's it. I need to reorganize them. But that's not for this video. These are all set. I'm not letting go of those. Those are fine. I have hoodies. I've actually gone through these recently. These are fine. I've actually got rid of the hoodies recently. Those are fine. I do have an everything else. Which, like, I have a pair of shorts in here. Um, those are fine. You know what? I might actually just, like, hang up my shorts. Because these aren't very heavy. So I can actually just put them on this. Because I wouldn't put pants on this kind of hanger because this hanger is not that strong. I feel like for pants, but for shorts that are not very heavy, I think that's also that's fine. All right, what else do we have? We have a like track jacket type feel from Calvin Klein over here. I haven't worn this in a hot minute, but I do wear it for the office typically because I can just wear a t-shirt underneath. I don't have it on a coat rack on a hanger because I don't wear it super often. Nothing wrong with it. I need to like do some oxy clean though. I can see like some body oil stains like, on the tag and on the collar over here, but that's that's fine. I'm okay with that. Like where can I put this temporarily here? I'll just do this. That's fine. But then I have this one. This was originally white. And then it got some body oil stains. Like a lot of white clothing does. So I dyed it pink because I couldn't get them all out. Which you can kind of see, it's the armpit specifically, which is pretty, pretty normal because, you know, sweat. You can kind of see, I don't know how well you can see it, but you can kind of see how it's a little darker <laughs> in those areas. And I don't know if I want to keep this. I have never worn it once I dyed it. It has never been worn once I dyed it. I don't know if it's too, like, too loud. Ooh, this has, like, a lot of... I bought it originally because it was white, and I just liked it. Pull the collar down, obviously. Let's see. Oh, I don't hate this. I don't hate it. It is a little bright. Although I think my white, my ice is a little too high now. Then I look at this. I'll have to, like, drop it, but I'd rather drop it a little bit than worry about it otherwise, but honestly, I'm not mad at this. It still has plenty of stretch in it, too. but you can see where I definitely dyed up myself, there's little patches of white. I don't know, it's, I, I'll, I'll keep it. I'm actually not mad about this. I will keep this. But this, this is, this can be kept. I'll have to fold it up. One thing I, I've been kind of holding on to that I almost never wear. <sighs> Hot topic. This is like the Spider-Man, like Avenger outfit. I bought it as a hoodie. I don't ever really wear it though. But I don't hate it. I don't hate Spider-Man either. 
He's not my favorite of the Marvel world, but this does not work with this type of shirt. Like, it fits me. You know, it fits me. The pockets are in weird places, though. Pockets are in weird places, because, like, you zip it up. Zip it up. And then your pockets are, like, way back here. Like, this is not even, like, a natural place to <laughs> to use these pockets. So I've never even used these pockets. It's weird. Like, why? <laughs> why is this so far back? Like, I like it, but I don't wear it. I also, like, paid 50 bucks for it. Instead of, like, a hundred and something. But it's comfortable, though. And it's a mesh lining, too, which is really nice. I think I'll keep it for now. We'll keep this for now. I need to, like, refold this. I've... I should actually try this on, make sure it still, like, sits nicely. This light's still on. I'm gonna, like, charge this light when I'm done. <laughs> it's a rechargeable one, so it's fine that it's, like, staying on right now. Oh, this feels nice. This also doesn't work well, this type of shirt, <laughs> because the collar just wants to go everywhere. It's fine. We'll make it work. Very short pockets, unfortunately. There is internal pockets though, which is kind of nice. Which is, yeah, like you put, you use room, so that's good. Let me zip it up. Are you still feeling this? Yeah. It's also good for work because the only Calvin Klein is right here. You can see it matches the color. So you don't really see it. So it fits me nicely, like body-wise. At least I think it does. Like that's two-tone. Yeah. And if I do want to wear the collar up, I can. I'm not mad at this. We can keep this. This is fine. We can keep this. All right. Look. <laughs> um, the last bin is more um, pullover sweatshirts. They're all from Target. I've already gone through those. I've been wearing them, so I'm not even gonna bother pointing that out because I I will wear that. <laughs> but that basically clears out my closet, honestly. Because the only other stuff I have in here is just like my sewing stuff. That's fine. So here's here's the after. Here's the after. Yeah. All right, I'm fine with that. Okay. We'll go ahead. I have it on like a sensor right now. There we go. That's like the sensor. So it will go off once it's like, um, no one's moving. Motion sensor. We'll close that. And that, that does my closet. I love how I'm like over here, my camera's like pointing over there. All right, I think that's where it's gonna end it there. That was a mess. We got, we're getting rid of nine shirts. We added back three shirts. So, you know. Um, I don't know if I'll use the other five hangers I have to get more shirts, who knows. I do know if I buy any more shirts, I'm gonna make sure I try them on, make sure I like them. Make sure they look good on me. They don't take more chances. <sighs> the only ones I will buy without trying on is like American Eagle because I bought so many of those over, you know, the last like... I'm gonna say the last like 12 years of my life that I know if they're gonna look good on me and if they're gonna fit okay. Because the fit hasn't changed from Record Eagle, thankfully. Alright, I'm going to end it there. This is going to suck to edit. Um, but we have more stuff coming up, thankfully. I have, I literally made a whole outline of videos I want to do. Like, what I want to talk about, what camera lens I need to use, what angle I want to sit at. So, hopefully that motivates me to do them when I have everything laid out. Alright, I'm going to go donate all these shirts that I'm not keeping. And, uh... Hopefully film some more videos. So uh see ya.